So it's been quite a while since I've done a video and for that uh, I apologise but this video is going to be a bit different to what I've done before. I think I've got one of these kind of videos on my channel where I opened up a few um, deliveries that I had but this one I've been sat on so many deliveries for the past like several months and I haven't got around to opening them and I thought uh, and I had a few messages on Instagram as well that I should just do this this grand unboxing and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 boxes to open here on this video. I'm going to just kind of open them up, remember what I'd bought and be like, oh yeah, I bought that um, and quickly run through what it is I either have plans for or why I bought it. Um, but for most part, I'm going to just put up on the screen and post-production how much I paid for it because I don't actually remember for some of this stuff. So I'm just going to grab one at random. Uh, this is the first one. For the most part, I think I've got my details hidden. But let's just get on to it and open this one. So I think I remember this one. This could be two, I think this is two Game Boy Colors uh, in here. Open. Excellent packaging on this one for me from the person who sold it to me on eBay. Okay, I was close enough. No, I wasn't. I was miles off. Uh, this is a Game Boy DMG and a Game Boy Advance bundle. And again, the price will be on the screen. So again, you can probably assume from this one. This is going to be a kind of fix up to get working kind of task. And that's just got sellotape on their screen. Screen non-working. Screen non-working. Okay. Well, let's get some batteries that hopefully I have on hand. So we'll start with the AA, the Game Boy Advance. First. The first one, let's just see what happens. Do we get any flicker? No, there's absolutely nothing happening there. So that's pretty dead. Again, it could just be the power switch is dirty and then we're not getting anything, or it could be something completely inside. It does look pretty disgusting. I can see cobwebs and dirt and it genu genuinely hasn't aged very well. So that's that one. Um, let's have a quick try of this DMG, which I say quick, the person has put sellotape over this. It's actually is that wet underneath. I don't know if it's oil or some kind of residue, but oh, that's just that doesn't feel right. So God knows what has been happening to this one. Uh, looking in this battery compartment here, dirty, very dirty as you'd expect, but then this little label that was left, a bit of paper said, screen non-working. I've got some, do I dare put anything in this? You know what, I'm not gonna, because I can see some kind of liquid. Now, I don't know how well this will pick up. Probably not. You can see a little shine there on, and then I can see inside here, Again, it might not be picked up very well on camera, but you can see there's like, I don't know, something shiny, like a liquid. I'm, I'm not gonna put any batteries in that. I'm gonna leave that uh, for now and just put that to the side. That's quite disgusting, actually. That was the first package. Um, let's get on to another one. I'm gonna choose this one here. Um, try not to show the front, because I didn't get my name covered and address covered very well. Oh, I remember this, what this one is. I'll zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now I need to be a little bit careful of this because I'm not too impressed with the packaging that they used for this. Okay. 
Yeah, definitely one of them situations where a box would have been miles better, but a complete box, Game Boy Color, and for sitting in a bubble wrap bag, whatever they call those jiffy bags, I can't tell whether this has sustained any extra damage in transport or whether it was always been this kind of like rough around the edges. But overall, this is looking pretty, pretty clean actually. That's the bottom, still got the, t is that original or is that? That looks like sellotape to me. There's a bit of extra sellotape. You can just maybe make out. Yeah, just about. I can see sellotape on it, but that doesn't matter. And then the corner I had an issue with was, okay, down here. Now I know this is nitpicking, but I'm hoping that that's always been like that and it's not occurred in transport. Let's just get it open. So it's not just a box, obviously, like I said, it's a complete unbox. Game Boy Color. With all the, seeing the manuals, inserts and stuff, I'm gonna leave them in because they're a bit of a pain sometimes to get out. Um, but I'll set that to the side. Again, I don't fully remember if this was a working device or not. And actually looking at the internals, I don't think it is. So you can see the battery terminals, heavy corrosion on them. That one's seen much better days. Uh, so I think I'll, I'll, you know what, let's just do it. Someone in the comment might point something out to me, but sometimes there's no real harm in trying. Ah, oh, it was already in the on position. And that's like stuck to press. I'm getting, yeah, nothing. So the box that it came in, is in lovely condition. The Game Boy itself, the shell, looks great. The internals, uh, we'll find out soon enough. So that was the second package. Let's get another one in. Let's get to clean this desk a little bit. Bits of dirt dropping here, there. Uh, let's go for this one. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we've got a package inside a package. That's appreciated. So the outer one will probably have kept it weather sealed. So probably would have been all right in here. And this is a Game Boy Pocket. Not had one of these in a while. I mean, the prices for everything has gone astronomical lately. I say lately like these videos stay relevant, but we're currently the 13th of August, 2021, um, believe it or not, and prices are just continually rising. I'm seeing Game Boy Advances um, working, yeah, okay, working condition, or that's what they say, for like 40 to 50 to 60 pound on eBay, and it's just, well, that's what the market does. Demand goes up, supply is obviously gonna continue to go down, so prices are gonna forever increase. But this is a lovely looking Game Boy Pocket, um, clear, doesn't seem to have any major issues. The, the back cover's missing, but let's get two triple A's and see if we get a working one. Hey, okay, it turns on. Let's just scroll the wheel. Again, is that contrast? Yeah, I heard sound, which is good. And there we go. Okay, nice big box here, so I'm hoping this is like quite a few items or they've just pack packaged it very nicely to prevent any further damage. Wow, okay. Again, more internal packaging. This one was very nicely packed. So thank you to that seller. And wow, all that was, was a pink Game Boy Pocket. Um, let's just see if I can get that into 
the same shot. So in that box was a Game Boy Pocket. Oh, it's come with some batteries. Let's turn it on, does it work? Okay, excellent. So we've got a working pink Game Boy Pocket. Let's just see if this reads the game. Oh, it doesn't read it at all. Yeah, a bit garbled still. Could be the game cartridge to be honest. So I'll just set that to the side. But don't often find many that come with batteries, although sometimes it's kind of a double-edged sword really. One of these. Tronic Energy. Eco 950 milliamp per hour. Oh, okay. I'll keep them just for testing even though I've got some uh, ladders and I think that's that's a real nice condition Game Boy Pocket there so yeah happy with that one again I kind of forget what I paid for these so they should be on screen kind of as I'm going along on this let's get another one I love it when people just use bits of cardboard and wrap it around the object and then sell tape it. Game Boy Color, there we go. This is in a, oh, it comes with a game. Yoshi's Cookie. Um, I don't remember this purchase, to be honest. Uh, let's, let's put that back in and put some double A's in, see if we get anything. Yeah, absolutely nothing here. Again, let's look at the power LED. Oh, hello. There we go. And it's read the game. Amazing. That was slightly before it latched to the on position. So if I go up again, yeah. So in the on position, it doesn't turn on and I just managed to get it wedged just before it went too far. But anyway, yeah, so that'll be the power switch issue in that one. It doesn't look too good um, in terms of the battery terminals and the sticker could probably do a bit of clean up. Uh, I think someone's, I don't know how you managed to put a lot of damage here through that little lanyard hole, uh, but that looks a bit worse for wear. It's the worst I've seen on a Game Boy, but overall, not too bad. This is looking very blue on my screen, so I think I've got my color uh, color correction a bit off. This is definitely not, not a blue. This is more of a teal. Uh, let's go for this little small one. I got this in the mail today, actually. So let's open this. I well, it's pretty obvious what this is gonna be, um, kinda. It's obviously not gonna be a Game Boy. But instead, just the one here, it is a Game Boy game. And this one, I think is my second or third most recent purchase, so I'm kind of aware of this one. This is Nintendo Game Boy um, Pocket Monsters. So it's basically Pokemon Green, the Japanese version. But I bought this because, well, all the... Uh, decisions someone has made along the way to color it in with silver silver pen and then black pen up here and whatever i'm going to try and restore it and get rid of all that uh try and get it back to looking its former glory self uh and just give it a nice clean so okay so onto this big box now uh again i don't quite remember what this is or what it could be I'm going to hope it's a few items rather than just one packed away in a big box. Right enough. There we go. Oh yes, I can't remember now. Uh, so this one is three 
complete in box Game Boy games as well as a complete in box Game Boy Color, which is that the second green one I've got? I'm just gonna do one. Ah, I've got two now. <laughs> um, so I really lost track of how much stuff I bought. This one isn't in great condition actually. I think there's <clears throat> over the time that's frayed. You can see there it's like delaminated the layers. So to be honest, oh and there's some pen on it as well. Game Boy itself looks in really good condition actually. Yep, nice clean terminals in there. We would focus correctly. Yeah, not bad. Overall, really good condition actually. So let's uh, let's pop some double A's in. That was already in the on position, so yep, turns on. Sound works great, so happy with that. It's a nice working Game Boy Color there. Then we've got three games. We've got Space Invaders, Tomb Raider, and F1 World Grand Prix 2. <laughs> um, not really interested in these, although obviously they came with it. it didn't put the price up too much. That's the game, Tomb Raider. Again, that looks in good condition, to be fair. This is probably the these two are probably the coolest, the coolest boxes. They've got the reflection there, the metallic kind of holographic reflection, and then this Formula One ground. I don't know how well something like this plays on a Game Boy Color, but um, I'm not going to be in any rush to play it. And then I don't really know, to be honest, if people would want to collect or add this to their collection given the condition it's in. I mean, maybe someone would just to have it in there, but I'm not too bothered about keeping it. And then we've got Space Invaders, which is, it's all, yeah, they're all real games. You just think the cartridge would be a little bit better. Just a kind of plain plastic. Okay, next one. Oh, no way. So that's the return address on that one. I've removed mine. Let's see. Get this out. Yeah, that's see the kind of original colour there on the back and then you flip it over and that's all the, the UV damage. It's not in great condition to be fair, but I think it's pretty cheap. Uh, terminals don't look too bad, let's give it a try. So. No, I get absolutely nothing actually on that. Yeah, nothing on that one. So that'll need taken apart. Look at that. I think it was pretty cheap, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll stick it up on the screen. What I paid for this one. Missing the back cover, but that's fine. I think I've got a few spares. Set it to the side. And then we're down to three more. So let's get this one. I couldn't cover my uh, address on the front of this one, so I'll just have to not flip it over. Well, I don't quite know, it's no, it's like plastic packaging with paper tape. Ah, well, that leaves the surprise. So here's two, I think this one's, yeah, so there you go, kind of, <laughs> the surprise is gone, but this one should be a teal Game Boy Color, and then according to this label, should be a pink, yeah, pink 
the Game Boy Color. So again, I don't think I paid too much for these, but we've got two that don't work. Let's uh, test to see if that's true. You can already see a bit of corrosion in this tier one. Tier was already in the on position. Let's rock it a few times, see if we get any sign of life. Nah, nothing. So quit looking at the terminals here. Yeah, a bit crusty then. Like I said, this is this is coming out like a blue. This is looking quite like a red. We have to color correct this, and that was in the on position as well. Nothing in both of them. Cool. So that's just some more. Game Boys that will just end up having to be fixed, and I'm sure if they don't get fixed, there's you know lots we can use from these shells and the such. Okay, down to the last two. I'm gonna save the biggest one till the end. So I've got this other one. Uh, this one is actually all the way from uh, Japan. So this is an order that I made on. Uh, J for you. Let's see here, yeah. J for you. .co .jp. Um, a lot of people order way more than this from the website, but I kind of had to get in there quick, otherwise they end up going. You know, people, as soon as someone sees something available, they'll buy it. I didn't want to sit around waiting for something else. So we got a clear Game Boy Color and this silver Game Boy Pocket. Um, I like how they put a little foam noodle in the battery compartment. So again, these obviously are for spares and repairs not working, but we can see on both of them uh, it's real bad screen burn. Um, so this one, we'll just replace the screen in it, and then I'll look at maybe replacing the polarizing filter actually on that one. Uh, but we'll see, and the same for this one. I think I've got a few Game Boy Pocket screens if we can't repair that one. So let's just see if they turn on. So, AAA for the pocket. screen you can play with the contrast wheel as much as you want but you don't really see anything but it turns on it took a bit of um, rolling around of the batteries here but it turned on so there must be might be a bit of corrosion in there so finally let's try this Game Boy Color yep it turns on let's Oh, actually, I think the speaker's done. Put the volume all the way up. Let's try again. Yeah, nothing. So I need to look into that uh, speaker. Not working. And then finally, there's a basically a big shoebox full of stuff here. Let's make, clear this out of the way. This one is a little bit different. So far, everything has been uh, Game Boy themed, which I'm, I still prefer, but I'm trying to branch out a little bit and do something or get some different stuff. Let me just open this up. I've got the label still on it, you see. I didn't expect it to come in this. Have I received the correct eBay listing? What have I got here? Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, 
this was a big job lot of various things. Uh, I think they just had things that weren't working and stuck them all together in one lot. So, silver Game Boy Pocket. So basically another, another Game Boy Pocket. We've got a Nintendo 64 Blast Corp. Or Blast Core, I don't know. Which has, oh, something rattling around the side of it. A, looks, yeah, I think this is an aftermarket controller for the Nintendo 64. So I don't see, well, maybe the Nintendo logo's team taken off actually there. We've got a game, it's this uh, Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, Night of the Living. Obviously the label's a little bit messed up on this. But, got a game. Game Boy Advance SP, not had one of these in a while. Absolutely nothing from it, but it could just need a charge. No swelling of the battery, which is interesting. So, I'll probably not try and charge this just now. I'll check the battery before I do. A lens, which I imagine is from this. Very rough DMG. Oh my God, someone's pulled the spring out. So that's, wow. That's gonna take a lot to repair. Uh, it comes with the <clears throat> battery compartment, but that's completely uh, broken. Yeah. And then finally, another, oh, this is actually, oh, it's broken. Is this a SNES cartridge, I think? Super Mario World, yeah, that's a shame. I mean, maybe I could I could just replace that part of the shell. I could find the back off another cheaper game and just stick it on. And then, well, I think that's it, but I've got some kind of carry case here if I really wanted to keep it. So that, I think, brings me to the end of this collection. I've, like I said, I've just ordered all these on eBay. Whenever I see a deal, um, either if it's buy it now or make an offer or even bidding, I just put in what I feel is worth or th th that item is worth or items. Um, sometimes the offer is rejected, uh, sometimes it's accepted and I just ended up with about, what, nearly a dozen parcels, can't remember what I said in the beginning, of varying different things. Again, most work, most or some don't work but all of them would need some kind of TLC to bring them back to their former glory. And that's exactly what I do on this channel. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of bit more of a different uh, video. Obviously I've got all these that we've seen to fix. I've got tons. And I have to probably have to zoom out here, zoom right out. Uh, Game Boys, more and more and some more and well, the complete unbox ones to the this little fella and then a couple of inbox games. Um, th I think that is pretty much it. I say that's it. That's quite a lot here this will keep me busy for a good few months um trying to get all of these things either fixed or just put into a position where i either just sell them or harvest parts for something else so yeah thanks for watching folks